Hi to everyone. Today, I am going to discuss about how to motivate yourself. So, this motivation is must, uh, especially in uh, teaching learning process. So, you are, uh, uh, you are a teacher or you are a student. Without uh, motivation, uh, we can't learn uh, new things if we are a student. If we are a teacher, it is very difficult to teach the concept. So it's Monday morning that alarm goes off. Do you know how to get motivated at that moment? What is the first thought that comes in your mind when you open your eyes? Are you excited to get up and go to your work? Or are you be frightened of the day and week ahead? So what are your response may be? Ask yourself uh, some kind of question. So what is the thing that makes you feel unmotivated? So take a sheet of paper, uh, write down the things. So what are all the things I am feeling that unmotivated? Are you are being motivated. So what are all the things uh, that motivates me? So what is the driving force uh, that I feel negative or positive about uh, my uh, Monday ahead? So motivation. So motivation is a thrust force that drives uh, any person to do their work in an effective manner. Without motivation, uh, we can't do anything. In, in, in real life, we can categorize the pers person or people into uh, two categories. So the first category is about the person uh, who is doing uh, the works for uh, several years and uh, they, they are having a problem, that problem be a, be a stagnant. Uh, the whatever uh, may be the problem, the problem related with marriage, job, or even uh, personal endeavors, they seem to be getting along just fine without progressing towards anything better. So uh, they are not doing in a better way. Their problem uh, is in, uh, stagnant. They, they are not even having a progress in their work or anything. On the other hand, we can uh, see another category of person. I'm sure you are all know of individual who focuses on positive uh, goal setting and consistently pushing themselves to get greater height. So it, it, it may be uh, the results may be a promotion in their work or uh, building a family life, uh, celebrating marriage, milestones, traveling, and more, more, getting more on the things. So these individuals seem to constantly progress towards something that improves or enhances their life. So what is the difference between these two types of individuals? So when you feel capable of doing comes down, one thing is motivation. So as uh, we discussed earlier, it is the force or the lack of that keeps driving you forward to overcome the challenges, obstacles what we are facing in our life lifespan. So without motivation, You'll give up after a few failed attempts or even the first thought of a first tough challenge that comes your way. Or you'll just remain where you are. Unhappy, not is doing anything to progress ahead. So when you uh, uh, when you think about motivation in your life, so you have to follow these uh, specific uh, steps. 
in your life uh, so hope you will be definitely definitely motivator yourself so the first thing is find out what drives you today so you have to uh, take some time today and do a quick reflection uh, that what you are right now so take one aspect of your life you would like to progress further in so for example uh, you are uh, doing a current, uh, current job you have to start with why so in our uh, childhood days we, we are uh, frequently asking with our parents why these things are happening uh, what is that why uh, these things is happening to me so we we are frequently asking why why to our parents probably we are uh, getting some kind of solution so such kind of approach is necessary so that we can say five why approach so this approach uh, if we answer if you are trying to answer these why's finally we will get solution for our problem so we have to uh, find the drive force by asking uh, such kind of questions the next is change your approach and don't give up so the famous uh, uh, entrepreneur motivational speaker and author jim ron he told if you don't change your approach then you will never change your results so everybody wants uh, good results in our life but unfortunately many times we are struggling to get our uh, results in a uh, good manner so in, in in that case we have to change our approach so we 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 are doing some kind of uh, methodology to reach our uh, goals but that methodology is not working properly why can't we we are sticking that methodology we have to change that methodology uh, to get a better results so if you take a problems so there are many alternative solutions out there so we have to try for our alternative uh, solutions and don't give up when the results you are not getting the good results so don't focus is on the result focus is on addressing the problem and uh, the selection of the approach definitely you will get the good results then recognize your uh, progress uh, say for example uh, you are dealing with a big problem uh, don't analyze that problem uh, or don't think that the problem is a bigger one to just disintegrate or split the problems into uh, smaller parts or stages so for uh, each stages you have to set for a smaller goal then if you reach that goal you you can recognize yourself so don't uh, expect others to recognize your uh, recognize you are your solutions for the problem then reward yourself so uh, you you are uh, feeling down about to do something or you are getting fear Uh, to do a particular uh, task or uh, you are head to working so uh, right from the beginning or uh, or uh, or on some deliverables will justify yourself uh, getting rewarded so as soon you are getting your agreed re- results you just take a moment and re- relax yourself at, and celebrate yourself so that celebration of uh, ourself with an each stage is much must so which will give a motive force to uh, address the problem in further so so with this uh, if you follow these kind of uh, uh, tips you will be motivated yourself so i hope this video will uh, motivate your you and yourself so thanks for the listening